Hi guys, last time I showed you how to model something inside VR, I did this Hellboy and it turned out great for someone who doesn't have any kind of talent. If you haven't seen the video, you can check it here in the corner. And I also said that I'm gonna test a bunch of other similar software and tell you which one is the best one. I've chosen the software that's available on Oculus and on HTC Vive. Every software that I tested out turned out to be great. So the question is, can they all export models so you can print them out? Yes, they can. So far I've tested Gravity Sketch, Masterpiece VR, Codon and Google Blocks. I still haven't tested Medium because I don't have my Oculus here right now, but definitely I'm gonna test it out. So let's start with Blocks. It's made by Google and it's a really cool software. It's very simple and it's kind of low poly. You can use basic simple shapes and create a bunch of cute models. I did a snowman and it turned out really cute. I've tested Gravity Sketch and you already seen that a lot of people are using that software. I've seen few famous YouTubers are using it and it's a really powerful software and you can do really cool organic stuff but personally I choose Masterpiece VR and Codon. They are kind of similar and they have a lot of options that I really like. Uh, which one is better? I really cannot tell you right now. Masterpiece VR feels more polished. Codon on the other hand is only 70% done and it's in early access. Masterpiece VR has a lot of brushes, basically shapes that you can use to model stuff. They have painting options. Uh, you can make your own brushes, which is a cool thing. You can just paint something, select it and use it as a stamp. So you can just click it wherever you want and how many duplicates you want. You can position a bunch of virtual cameras inside your space so they can record you modeling something, you painting something from another perspective, which is a cool thing because you can review your painting skills later, see where, where you're making mistakes, where you're just going with a bunch of strokes, unnecessary strokes and stuff like that. Also, it has cool sharing options where you can take an image inside the software or record a video, share it on social media. But what I really don't like is the lighting. Uh, sometimes it's really hard to see what you're doing and I've sent them a message on Twitter, they still haven't responded to that, but I really wanted to know, will they add something like ambient occlusion or uh, some kind of option where you can just grab your light and adjust it differently so you can cast more shadows and see what you're actually doing. On the other hand, Codon has much better light setups and you can you can always see what you're doing. Sometimes modeling feels more, more rewarding. Uh, it feels better, but at the same time, it's missing few basic options. Uh, for example, I tried to model the same Hellboy figurine that I've modeled in Masterpiece VR and to make something like that inside Codon, it's much, much harder. So you, you need more time to model something that simple. Sometimes it's buggy and uh, it just feels like unfinished product but you can really make great results. I made this cute version of Pennywise, something like that. Can VR sculpting replace traditional 3D software? No, it cannot, at least not yet. You can quickly do a lot of cool things inside VR, but you cannot do awesome things like you can do in ZBrush. And for some people that's enough because they want to do something quickly so they can print it out or just show it on social media and they don't want to invest that much time like you would have to invest uh, to learn ZBrush. In VR they can just sculpt stuff faster and most of the users are searching just for that. Me personally I'm still gonna use VR for organic modeling and for something more technical I'll use Fusion or some similar software. If you want something Simple, choose blocks because it's free software, you can download it on Steam. If you want something much better but you don't want to invest a lot of money, you can just take this early access version of Codon. If you have more money and you want to test more stuff and you want more complete software, you should choose Gravity Sketch or Masterpiece VR. If you want that feeling that you're actually making something with clay, then I would definitely suggest Masterpiece VR and not 
gravity sketch. If you want something where you can paint stuff in strokes and adjust them later, then choose gravity VR. I really cannot tell you which software is the best one for you guys because we are all different. We learn in a different way. I've seen people saying that uh, Code On is not that great, that Masterpiece VR is way better. On the other side, I've seen people saying that Codon is the best software out there. Some people are saying it's Gravity Sketch. Some people are saying the same thing for Medium. Codon is also promising some really cool features in the future and I cannot wait for another update to test them out. And also at the same time, I cannot wait for other developers to do their own things because I think this competition is really healthy and uh, all of them will try to make the best out of their programs, which will be the awesome thing for all of us users. But definitely the future is exciting. Speaking of the future and VR, I'm really excited about uh, the new movie that will come out this month and it's Ready Player One and because of that my next video uh, will kind of be influenced by that movie, specifically by some shots that I've seen in the trailer and I'm gonna try to make something similar using Hot Wheels and my 3D printed designs. I cannot show you anything right now, but it's gonna be cool. I started making my Fluffy series and basically I'm making cute versions of uh, famous vehicles. So far I have made only Enterprise. Uh, next on my list is probably gonna be Millennium Falcon, so you should check it out. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that and hit that bell next to it so you can get notified whenever I'm releasing a new video. If you have any suggestions or any questions, just write in the comments below or send me a message on Twitter or Facebook and I will definitely respond to that. And I really hope I'm gonna see you next time.